just my two cents on that. Uh, there is a connection between uh, Rex Burkhead and uh, Aaron Green. So, so Rex loved fans, loved him, and he loved them back. I mean, he was he, he's one of the best ambassadors that athletic department has ever had, and still has. Mm-hmm. And 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 they'll find a way to honor him. Uh, he'll be in the Nebraska Football Hall of Fame. I, I don't know what his plans are. Uh, he is loved in Plano, but this was his welcome to Nebraska moment. And he actually was with Aaron Green. So this was uh, the offseason before the 10 season. Either the 10 or the 11 season. It might have been the 10 season. Him and Aaron Green, to kill time, go to a Lincoln Salt Dog game. And they both go into the bathroom. Okay, they're just hanging out. They mm. got, they're watching the Salt Dogs play. They go into the bathroom. And a Husker fan, who probably six or seven years old, recognize rex and so rex is you know taking care of business yeah and the little kid is so excited because rex burkhead is in the bathroom with him at haymarket park at a salt dogs game <laughs> and like asked for his autograph yeah in the bathroom and i'm i'm sure he gave it to him. let him finish first uh, i think they i think they walked out he took a picture with his dad okay but that was uh like that was the first man Welcome to Nebraska yeah. moment for Rex Burkett. Just different. And ironically, he was with Aaron Green. Yeah. Who, you know, those two those were. Those two guys. What was that? Uh, who, who was the trio? They had Robinson was in there, like early in Rex's career. It just, it, it's yes. to where to where the Nebraska running back position has been of late. Mm-hmm. To think we went through, Halu handed off the baton to Rex, and then Rex handed off the baton to Amir. Yeah. What a, what a run. Because two of those guys are in my top 10 all-time running backs at Nebraska. I thought yeah. Castillo was pretty good before he got kicked off. But... Quinn Castillo got moved over to linebacker. I won't point to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's, you mentioned Bo recruiting Texas very well. Okay, so I remember Cody Green was Texas. I'm not Same saying Antonio. he was good. Um, was that, Zach Lee was California, right? Okay. I was For some reason, I was trying to figure out if he might have been from the South. I, I, they're just thinking about Rex's time at Nebraska. Because it's all tied to Bo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just keeps reiterating the, the point about the Bo Pelini era. How did they ever win nine games? And then how did they not win more than nine games? Yeah. That's how I will look That's at the Bo Pelini era. Right. So true. There's also part of uh, Rex's stories that people are, are more than welcome to share them because there's, there's, there's more than a bathroom story or a Jack Hoffman story that I've shared this morning mm-hmm. is that 2011 game. How come we have not had a standalone documentary on the 2011 Nebraska Ohio State game? The comeback. It's a great it's, day. it's the great comeback, of course. And Rex was a big part of it. You know, the little the Ole move that he had that mm-hmm. is on highlight reels forever at Nebraska. It is the Levante it David is, moment. It is the Bo Pelini meltdown game. Yep. It is the Bo Pelini Dirk Chatlin yeah. post <laughs> there were, game. There were a lot of things about it. How. And, and you look at the guys that played in that game. So that's where we got introduced to Braxton Miller. Mm-hmm. You had Carlos Hyde was running the ball. Yep. Um, you know, Corey Brown was one of the wide receivers, Devin Smith. But there, there was there was so much talent that played in that game in 2011 when Nebraska's down 27-6 and they make the great comeback. There's just so much about that game with the fans leaving because it's pouring rain right. as the second half begins. We need a standalone documentary on the 2011 Nebraska Ohio State game, yeah. and then at the end, because it includes the audio yep. tape, it's audio. revealed. Oh, who, who gave it up? Yeah, who's who's the whistleblower on that one? Yeah, who gave it up yep. and who delivered the tape to Deadspin? That's how that would end. Give it to us now. There are a lot of like young filmmakers out there. I, I might yeah. even I might even finance, finance your project. It? Yeah, it might be a good I ESPN might finance short. your project. You could narrate if it. You put together a documentary. On everything surrounding the 2011 Nebraska Ohio State game, could you do which, that? Ironically, Luke Fickle was as the interim that yeah. year at Ohio State. Could you do that in an hour? I feel like it'd have to be more than an hour, like an hour and a half. But I also because like I'm, I'm thinking of like an E60, but I feel like 60 minutes may not give you the time you need to tell the entire story. D- does anybody else remember Braxton Miller going into that game? Remember, do you guys remember his his big issues? Remember, he he could not throw a spiral. He had a good arm, 
I just remember watching his first and two he games. he was better than Joe Bowser. He was, yes, that was their best. I mean, and he was obviously extremely athletic, too, so he gave you that That's dimension, too. But he had, it was the weirdest thing. He had the strongest arm, yet he, it was just duck after duck after duck. He could not throw a spiral, ironically, until that game. And then in the Nebraska game, he's actually throwing the ball like a, a normal quarterback. It was just the weirdest thing to see a Division One quarterback with the inability to throw a spiral, yeah. like for a long time. Rex in that game had 119 rushing. He had 59 receiving. To me, that's not his best game. We'll, we'll discuss. We're here till. 10. Yeah, I got. I got a memory too that it, the, the Ohio State one. I think is on a lot of people. One, uh, there's, there's one game that's the following year that's a little bit more yeah. in my memory. I think are we talking the Iowa game? Yes. Yeah, the I, Iowa game is the true Rex Burkhead game. Yeah. Uh, all right, Sam McEwen's coming up uh, next uh, a little bit later. Brian Christopherson on 1620 The Zone.